Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It is your boy Tom Origins here. I have a brand new series that I'm going to be labeling as Tom Talks 1.5. I know I have some gaming community fans, and I know I've got some personal like vlog type of fans. So I want to make videos that entertain and please everyone. So please leave your comments down below. All the positive ones get saved and forwarded and protected and locked away in this beautiful little box. And at the end of the week, I'm going to try and get them all together and do like a little comments video. So if you comment your Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you use, YouTube, uh, down below, you'll get a shout out next to your pretty little comment. And all the negative comments, because we used to get a few of those from a few dicks who used to be around, they all got banned from my channel. They all got banned from... BE GONE, fuck! Because I am the channel admin, which means I can boot them out of my kingdom. I want to be a dick, get banned. Our kingdom's getting kept clean and clean for everyone. So I booted them and vanquished them from my kingdom and that was pretty cool. They're all gone and all the comments get permanently deleted every time they comment. A few of them who used to do it a lot, their username got flagged and boom, they're dead. YouTube, thank you. And in today's video, it's Tom Talk Season 1.5, Episode 1, because I wanted to do Season 2, but legally I can't drive. <laughs> My car, I have got a car now. She's beautiful. She's being test driven by one of my dad's friends. Uh, he's in the middle of getting a new car, so he had a no car. And my dad was like, my son's not passed his test yet. You can borrow his car. And I was like, yeah, sure, cool. Then at least I know my car's safe and, and has been driven around a bit. But yeah, it's a nice little Peugeot. She's very petite and cool. Uh, looks a bit sporty, but not too fast. I'm not a fan of going fast, as my driving teacher, the amazing Sharon, will know. I have a car, and I need to pass my test, but I've not done it because I've got exams and plays, and I've been in shows, and I've been doing training and stuff, and it's been crazy. I'm quite safe driver. I don't know. I like driving safe <laughs> under the speed limit. So I definitely won't be doing any Need for Speed Fast and Furious films anytime soon, but... And this whole Momo challenge as well that's gone viral. It was uh, this Japanese artist did this creepy ass painting or this creepy ass sculpture thing. And these idiots online, this social group online started using it as their icon and the little image on a WhatsApp chat. So if you have WhatsApp, please don't try and contact Momo. A person from Argentina actually, actually committed suicide because of this challenge. If you see it, ignore it. If you're a parent or a brother or a sister and you see a younger person and you have a younger person you're responsible for, like a cousin, a nephew, a sister, a brother, etc. Or your child, don't let them participate in the Momo challenge and don't participate in it yourself. It's a stupid challenge online that no one should really get involved in or do. Try and get to a bit of happier news. Uh, a while ago, at, at, at December time, I got an unconditional offer from a university, a University of Huddersfield, a beautiful university, really lovely staff and really great pupils and people that I met on my opening days. I went a few times. I also went back again to look around it and also went back for a final time to do an interview, a live interview, obviously. Uh, I did one for my drama and literature course and the drama teacher was lovely. He was really inspiring and entertaining and really just informative and he really felt like he loved his job. The students that did drama courses also really loved their jobs and seemed very committed. Uh, they have a great track record of Huddersfield University with jobs and getting you in places after you finish the university course. And of course, with universities, you get accommodations. And because I and my girlfriend, Helen, were very lucky enough to get unconditional offers, that meant we both knew we were going to get in regardless of our grades at A level. And that meant we had to sort out our uni homes or accommodations. We did ours and we wanted a two bedroom flat that shared one kitchen. A lot of them got sold out really quickly. So we had to go for our second option, which was this place called Castings, where you have four people that share one kitchen. So not too different. I guess you just add in two more people, really. But I didn't take that too well this morning when I figured that out and I knew about that. I was a bit distraught, like a bit upset because I really wanted this two-person one. Just it would have been a lot more easier for social life and filming to have some time away. I think it's really healthy than to just constantly be around people. But I feel like the other two people are gonna be okay and I feel like if I get to talk to them a bit, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll try and make friends with them and hopefully they're nice. I mean, I wanna be nice and, and civil because we have to live together for 44 weeks, I think is our contract. So me and Helen have a house now in university together and we're moving in there soon in September. So there'll be a moving in video. So I'm actually moving out of my house, out of this lovely studio and my home and it's gonna be really sad, but it's in September so I got ages to wait. The summer holidays got amazing plans for that as well. I uh, normally go. I normally go on holiday in the summer holidays, 
uh, with my mum and my dad. And last year I went with my mum and my dad and my and my Helen <laughs> and Helen, uh, my girlfriend. And it's really cool because normally I know a lot of months in advance, or at least you know a little bit in advance when I'm going. So last year we knew we were going to go to Benidorm. It kept me motivated to keep going through my mocks and my DOV which I got some news about as well. And uh, I also got to go to Benidorm last year, which is a lovely place for me. I love it. It's so cheap to go to and it's really nice and lovely. And the people are lovely there. And it's just Span Spanish uh, weather, British people, and it's great. It's fantastic. No, it's, seriously, Benidorm was beautiful. It was really nice. And we loved it there. We had a great vlog series um, uh, about it. So if you like it, go watch the, vlogs, the vlog series on Telen, Telen YT. It's our second YouTube channel for our couple videos, but it's on this channel as well, so you can watch them both. Normally, instead of knowing the holiday destination, I asked my mum to pick it, arrange it with Helen's mum to okay it with Helen's mum and dad, uh, and not tell us. So that's going to be a really fun video once A-levels are finished, and I'll tell you a live counter for when my A-levels are actually over. Okay, so my A-levels finish on the 7th of June. I have 99 days, 13 hours, and 8 minutes. Oh my god, that's so bright. Left until my. Sorry about that. My last exam. 99 days. Oh my god. Then I've finished A levels and I have the summer holidays to be free. I'm the plenty more content and more random funny videos and I'll be trying my best to do a bit of gaming a bit of personal videos I'll try and get it outside and I'll try and learn how to drive at some point so we got a lot of stuff coming up in the Tom Origins household uh, the Tom Origins team we're all doing good we're on 829 subscribers at the minute we're trying to get to a thousand because YouTube have this new system now so if you want to get monetized and actually turn YouTube in a, into a job which I would love to do really love to make YouTube content for my job uh, or at least get a bit of, you know, money out of it and try and save up for something or put money towards the channel. I keep trying to buy little tech items here and there. I got an improved setup. I got an improved um, everything, really, to try and up the quality. I got a better camera. I uh, tried to really up my stuff a lot, so I'm trying my best. But when you're on a budget and you've got school and everything else, you got a lot to do and a lot's on. So I've been trying to micromanage my, my channel and try and get it bigger this year. I've really put a lot of heart and effort in because pretty much my channel was dead dead in the water it had 300 odd subscribers and we were stuck at like 330 for a while and then what happened was is red dead redemption 2 came out which was this game by rockstar people who make gta and i uploaded this video and it kind of went semi-viral i don't know what classes as a viral video but it was like minutely viral it got 200,000 viewers which was pretty insane not to lie it's, it's on it's on a lot of views and it's nearly at 210,000 which is crazy but it got a lot of subscribers drawn to the channel and it got a lot of views and it's got the channel boom grown so my social blade's quite quite good if I look at my social blade that's quite nice to see a lot of the subscribers stuck around after the video which is quite nice and a lot more came after the video so I'm gonna keep trying to do my best to try and find the next viral video for me and also keep trying to give the best content possible for you to stick around and watch so yeah, I've pretty much sorted out my comments, I've sorted out my channel, I'm trying to get myself going better, I've set up my, my preset editing settings so my videos render and come out nicer, I have a whole new system of editing which is really helpful to me, I'm trying to improve the face cam stuff, trying to get some gameplay, I'm trying to do a lot of things guys, but I just want this channel to grow and be good because I do want to turn it into my job one day, I would really love to do YouTube 24 7, 7 days a week and do things like that, but I have one really bad internet because where I live, so hopefully the university has nicer internet and I could do some stuff there, but I, I wanted to keep this YouTube thing going forever. One, because I have a dodgy memory, guys, I forget things, like, so if I go out and do a great thing or something really nice happens, I want to film it and upload it. Instead of writing it down in a diary, I prefer to film it and put it on my channel and put a bit of, like, editing into it, and it's like a good way to remember your holidays, your birthdays, your friends' days, things like that. So, yeah, a lot's coming out, guys. A lot's coming. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Mwah! I will see you all very soon. Thank you for watching and subscribing to my beautiful channel. When we get a thousand subscribers and I actually make some money from YouTube and I can prove my mum and dad that I'm not a weirdo who just sits and talks to his camera, I'll actually be able to get a merch store going. I'd love to do that. That'd be really cool. 
I would like a little Tom Origin. I've got a Tom Origin's hat on top, but I'd like to get like a little merch doll going. So that would be quite cool. I have got connections for a merch doll. I'm like one of the smallest YouTubers out there who has connections to his own merch store. But there's no point in pro making loads of t-shirts and hoodies and, and hats and things and then not having anyone to sell them to. So, I don't know. We're trying our best. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in a bit. Peace. Goodbye. Keep subscribing and stay safe on the roads. Bye.